Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I thought I would dive into my stash and pull out a die set that I haven't used yet. I bought this a little while ago because there are a few people in my family who like uh, fungi and nature and botanical stuff and I thought this would be a good set sort of toadstools and mushrooms to use on cards for them over the coming year. And it appeals to the uh, whimsical side of my personality. And I thought maybe I'd set you a little challenge. If you feel like joining in, go to your stash, pull out a die set. It can be any die set, it doesn't have to be mushrooms or toadstools. Pull out a die set that you haven't used before, make a card with it and then come to my Facebook group and share a photo of it there. I just thought that would be a fun little thing that we can do together. The first thing that I'm going to do is separate out some of the dies because this one, for example, is a mushroom or toadstool top, but it's got bits inside it that aren't meant to be there. And there's a couple down here like that. And once I've done that, I'll cut some out of smooth white cardstock. Right, I am about to switch the voiceover because it suddenly got very noisy with the starling fledglings in the back garden and my neighbours are doing something noisy in their garden as well. So I just thought I'd show you these. I put them on black cardstock so they're easier to see. These are the bits that I've got to work with. And I'm gonna focus on these bits here, but I'm gonna to need to cut some more stalks because there's only a couple in the set. Right, switching to voiceover. So the first thing I did was take six of the toadstool slash mushroom caps, pop them on my grip mat to hold them still and daub them with embossing ink. I'm just using a Ranger embossing ink dauber for this because it was the first thing I grabbed out of my box of embossing bits. And then I dusted on some Raspberry Jam Luscious Powder. I decided I didn't want to go traditional mushroom colours with my mushroom caps. I thought I'd make them sparkle and shine and make them look quite ethereal. So I've got Raspberry Jam Luscious Powder, as I said, and some Teal Luscious Powder. I brushed on the Raspberry Jam first and then I brushed on the teal and that way I was able to keep the colours fairly separate they didn't mix and make a sort of muddy grey colour which purple and teal can do and I just kept adding a little bit more of the teal luscious powder until I was happy that everything was coated and shiny and colourful. I didn't want to waste the luscious powder on my grip mat so I spritzed it with water and used a piece of spare mixed media paper to pick it up and I set that aside to dry and that will go in my box of backgrounds and bits for using at a later date. Next I coloured my mushroom stalks and I did go a bit traditional with this. I used pumice stone, distress oxide and a finger dauber to give them a light warm beigey colour. After that, I used a craft knife to cut some slits in two of the mushroom caps. These were to poke the stalks through because not all the mushroom caps in this die set are the same style. Some of them you can just stick the stalk on the back and it looks right. But these two, I think, needed the stalk to go through the slit that I cut. All I did to add the stalks was pop a bit of glue on them, poke them through the slits and then press them so they stuck. And the other mushroom caps, that was simply just stick with glue the stalks on the back so they stuck out an appropriate amount from the bottom. For my card, I'm using a 4x6-ish inch card blank of smooth white cardstock with a stitched rectangle panel on top. And I just attach those to each other with my usual high tack PVA glue. I wanted to give my mushrooms something to sit on on the front of my card. So I brought out the paints that I made with my luscious powders in my pigment powders 101 series and rehydrated them with a bit of water and splattered them on my card. I did mask off most of the card because I wanted to keep it clean and simple and restrain my splatters to my mushroom area. Once that was done and dried, I set about sticking my mushrooms on. All I did was dip them in some more high-tack PVA glue and then line them up 
across the front of my card over the splatters in a higgledy piggledy fashion just so they had a bit of interest and variation in height. For my sentiment I chose a lots of love typewriter font stamp and stamp that in memento tuxedo black ink nestling the sentiment in an appropriate space between some mushroom caps and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I do hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's inspired you to delve into your stash and pull out an unused die set. If it has, please do come to the Facebook group and share pictures of the cards that you've made there. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.